Hoops, 1v1. All right. This could be interesting. I actually wish that Hoops was more... Um... Wait, I need to... I wish that Hoops was more, like, uh, popular, I guess. Because it is actually pretty good. It is actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good game. The, the thing about Hoops is that the best goals are actually the one, like, if you strike the ball with a low arc, you can stick it straight into the net. And, uh, that's... It's really difficult to do because if you you know shoot it too low, the ball is just going to come back off the off the front of the post, I guess, or the rim, whatever you want to call it. And if you shoot it too high, it's obviously going to go off the backboard. But you've got to hit that sweet spot and put it right in. Woody's joined in. That's good. <laughs> he's joined into. I did invite Woody, and he's joined in to spectate. I mean, this is a misplay by Sarbo for sure, giving Scrub this much space because Scrub can just rip a shot, and he could have like fired that straight at the backboard and then gone for the rebound. It turns out, like, consistent pressure is going to lead to a goal anyway. Giving Scrub that much space, like Turbo did when he just backed off, he was never in a good position here. The, po the, the rim's actually blocking him from making a good save there. It's pretty rough. <laughs> Woody just joined to say that Turbo still hasn't accepted a Smash GT team invite. Oh, Turbo with the boost strategy on face-off. I'm not a fan of that either, but he does get the save. Scrub's shot, not what it could have been. The reason that that's so risky to go for the boost is because the opponent doesn't actually have to hit the ball straight into your net. They could go for like tricks where you're hitting the ball uh, high on purpose just to make it difficult for the goalkeeper. I need to. I definitely need to see more face-offs though to see if it's a viable strategy to go for the corner boost. I'm sure it is on some situations, but on this sort of kickoff where it's you know straight down the middle, I'm not sure if going for the corner boost is wise. Just gives the opponent all of the initiative with their hit. Definitely need more experimentation with it. And there's no like one uh, kickoff which has risen above the rest like there has in the regular. Oh, a squashy goal coming in for Turbo. He's just going to pinch this one off the backboard. I thought you might just try and sit on the ball on the backboard and uh, let it drop. But he is going to... Oh, Scrub actually <laughs> scrub headbutted the post. <laughs> I didn't see that one. You just jumped right into the crossbar. That's what I like to see, dude. So Scrub actually no ball cam for that one. He's just going for the aerial 50-50. Hit it right in the middle. I'm surprised if he's going for that play that he's not trying to air roll to get a bigger hitbox. Rim twice, actually, right there. This is good save, actually, by Turbo. This is an awkward position, for sure. He has to be so careful not to hit himself off the, the backboard. Or hit himself off the post. Not easy to do. Alright. What is Turbo's main offensive strategy? It seems like he's just trying to win a solid 50-50. He's not going to try and take the ball up the wall. Very grounded. Which a lot of people when Hoops came out. A lot of people thought that. Oh man. With the goal being a goal that you shoot down into. They thought aerials are going to be the way to go. But as it turns out. Hoops is super grounded, especially in 1v1, because getting that perfect ground shot is so good. Oh, Scrub barely jumping underneath the front post right there. Uh, the front side of the rim. Make sure not to headbutt that. And <laughs> fry me a liver. What a name. Thanks for the sub, dude. I really appreciate that. That is, that is a great name. Fry me a liver. Oh, remove the overlay. You're absolutely right. Sorry. This is a high quality production, as always, on twitch.tv forward slash johnnyboy underscore i. Super power of the battle car. Oh, tar no, uh, tar Turbo barely not able to get that double touch. This has been such a low scoring game. Which uh, often is not the case, actually, in hoops. It's easier to score air dribbles in hoops, funnily enough. Because you could just get above the ball and force it down. Which you can't do in a regular map. And the other thing that's uh, easier to score is, of course, just the basic pop. Usually people can save those in uh, a regular game, but it can be potent in hoops because that front rim, like right there, you actually end up hitting the rim when you're trying to go for saves. 
But still 2-1. We haven't had a goal in ages. These guys going completely even in the midfield. Demo is down by Turbo. Barely missed it. I'm actually surprised that didn't work. It looked like he was on point with it. But somehow it misses. Explain the definition of scrimming. Well, the definition of well, scrimming just means practice games, basically. It's when one team is practicing against another team in private lobbies. Yeah, air dribbles are the way forward in hoops. They're super good in hoops. This should be an air dribble goal for Scrub. Oh, that's actually Turbo with the respawn cheat. I want to highlight this. Just bad manner from Turbo. It doesn't work. Look, he actually changes team and goes back on the orange team so he can reappear in defense. I'm not impressed. Shame on you, Turbo. Shame on you. Shame. Absolute shame. If I ever see somebody do that and, uh, you know, it's like actually a close game, I like, you know, I'll be, I'll be like, all right, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not spectating this anymore. Oh, side field, side foot by Scrub. What a recovery though. He actually does get to the ball. Flies over the post. No way. If he got that, that would have been sick. Oh, Scrub's going to do the respawn cheat. So it doesn't matter because Turbo missed, but these guys have absolutely no honor whatsoever. They're doing the, the change team cheat. And that was surprisingly quick on the mark there. And a horrendous shot by Scrub. These guys have no honor. Shame on them. Shame on Scrub. Shame on Turbo. Shame on their families. Shame on their pets. Okay, Scrub nearly getting the <laughs> own goal, but he did get the save. Okay, that's a much better shot by Scrub. Difficult to stop that one. Very difficult to stop that one. When is RLCS begin today or is there none this weekend yeah there's none this weekend they're even on cheating scrubs right they have both cheated one time each so i suppose it's fair but still that's come on that's that's just like okay this is not probably not going to work for turbo he would need scrub to bean this incredibly hard it is of course it's possible to score in hoops and I see this a lot more on team games and hoops if you just fire the ball like straight at the very middle of the hoop wherever you're looking at it from and that usually makes the ball like roll straight up into the ceiling and then bounce off the ceiling and come back down into the center of the goal so you can actually score by just slamming it straight at the net hey bluey with a three and an underscore thanks for the sub dude that's not actually that's not bluey the player because bluey the player is bluey rl I believe but thank you so much man I appreciate that first time sub. There's so many first time subs today. You guys are amazing. I really appreciate that. Let's see. Will Scrub be able to double his leader? Is Turbo not going to even join the lobby? <laughs> Fake Bluey. Yeah, Turbo is... Shout out to Mout and, you know, Scrub Poet without even realizing... Okay, Turbo with the late join. Shout out to Mout in Discord right now. Yeah, but yeah shout out to Mout. Mout's awesome. I love Mout. I met him in real life. And Insomnia last time around. And for those of you who are thinking about going to Insomnia 59, go. There you go. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. That was horrendous shot by Turbo. And Scrub going for it. Oh my goodness, that nearly worked. He went for a bit of an air dribble fake. He was feigning a second touch. Actually just sent it straight down after he saw Turbo was also up. Not the best first touch or not the best second touch also by Turbo. His first touch slowed the ball down. Gave Scrub a chance to intercept what he was doing. And his second touch actually popped the ball off target. Trying to control this one, Scrub with plenty of time. Okay, Scrub with plenty of time to just not save the ball, I guess. I was going to say plenty of time to make the save, but then he just rushes into the goal and jumps into the wall. <laughs> so not the best play by Scrub right there. I need a field side flip emote? Maybe. I mean, my emote goal is if I get another 140 subs or so, like if I ever get to 500 subs... I will make a 3x3 three three boy hello. So the boy hello is of course the, my main emote and I've got the 2x2 two two boy hello where 4 emotes are used to make a, a boy hello. So if I ever get 500 subs I'll uh, I'll use 9 emote slots to make a 3x3 three three boy hello and I'll still have the 2x2 two two and the single boy hello so like all my emotes except one will be the same which is you know that's really what I want to do because yeah it's, it sounds pretty funny. <laughs> that's the goal. And I, I never thought that would be possible. But wow, I never thought Scrub could shoot that poorly. The, the shooting in this game, for Scrub who told me in DMs, he said that his um, 
He said that he's a god in this mode, and he really is not looking like a... Uh, he's not looking like a god right now in this mode. His shooting has not been fantastic. Game 1 he played a lot better, but just again, no, no, no natural ability to read where the ball is. Of course, you do have points of reference to look at in hoops. You can tell where the back wall is behind you because you can see where the hoop is in front of you, so you should know where it is if you're completely familiar with the dimensions of the map. The scrub there just not showing familiar familiarity with where the back wall is. Just uh, not being aware of where to drive. That was actually scoreable. Scrub would have been too slow in the retreat. Marky's pretty disgusting on this map. Like this is the this is a very Marky Duda esque map. Oh, misplay by Turbo. He could have actually taken that boost in the midfield. If he just used literally one boost when he half flipped over it, then it would have taken that boost from Scrub. But he didn't use the boost. He already had 100, but he should still deny that boost from Scrub. Well, Turbo is going for the half volley clear right there. It's where you wait for the ball to bounce off the back wall, and then you clip it right as it's about to fly off. And it gives the ball way, way more speed. Hey, Lakme. Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, my friend. Welcome to the channel. I appreciate you. Thanks for the support, dude. Turbo's looking pretty consistent here. Looking to take down Scrub, who won game one pretty handily. A nice save by Turbo. Turbo's defense has been pretty on point this game. Pretty on point has been Turbo's defense. Up, uh, and then he drives into the crossbar. <laughs> okay, Turbo opting not to just slam that ball straight into the goal. Maybe he doesn't know that you can actually just score if you launch the ball right into the front end of the goal. It goes right up into the ceiling and straight down again. If you have enough momentum to do that, I'd recommend it. It's very hard to defend. Oh, and Scrub misreading that ball. He didn't think it was going in, but actually, that's exactly what's happening. Yeah, Turbo popping that one in the most awkward position. Scrub thought it was going bar out, but it's actually bar in. What's the difference between subscribing and following? Uh, subscribing, if you subscribe, you get to use my emotes, and it costs $5, and uh, you also get to participate in sub games when I do them once a year. <laughs> so there's, yeah. It's all about the emotes though, you gotta get that boy hello face. Everybody spam boy hello so he knows what you mean. Or boy one two three in random orders, that's what I like to see. Nice aerial shot by Turbo, he couldn't get the ball enough to the right but still, good angle change. Oh and Scrub not getting height on his shot again. It's been a consistent feature of his play this game. There's boy hello, thank you Epic Toasty. And uh, anyone else who does it. Looking like Turbo might actually be able to keep Scrub to z zero. Like, I try never to bring up Caster's Curse, but seriously, sometimes I'm just like, why? Why? <laughs> you know, why does this happen to me? It's like, <laughs> right as I'm about to say, yeah, Turbo could definitely keep Scrub at zero goals. Like, right then, he turns and makes the worst challenge of the game and it just ends up in his net. Like, Really? Scrub's gonna try and dunk this one down. There it is. Scrub's back in the game. <laughs> He's back in within one. And we have a face off as well, which is a lot more volatile and uncontrolled of a situation than midfield play. So here we go. Scrub with the equalizer, I guess. <laughs> Not the zero goal uh, game that I predicted just about 20 seconds ago. Do I ever let people to spectate my matches? <gasps> Turbo beans the save, but there's the equalizer. Scrub did well. The placement on this shot is really good. He placed it deliberately to the left, which is closer to Turbo Pulse. But the reason he's doing that is because Turbo has to get underneath the crossbar and then up to the ball. If he, Scrub shoots it to the far side of the goal, Turbo can drive under and have a much clearer angle of approach. But wow. So 20 seconds after I say, will Turbo keep Scrub to a zero goal game, Scrub gets the equalizer. <laughs> Typical. Okay, a decent first touch by Scrub. That was not easy to do. He's going to try and dump it in the front of the goal. What a finish! That was really impressive by Scrub. Turbo on the wall, ready for the backboard rebound. But it just never comes. Scrub just spots that and starts air dribbling it to the front of the net. Oh my word, what a finish. That was nice. Nicely done. <laughs> Turbo, he was doing so well and it's all turned around. That first touch by Scrub is extremely impressive in that air dribble. Not an easy one. I didn't even think he was going to go for the air dribble, but you know, air dribbles are so potent on hoops. 
very difficult to defend against because you have to literally get under the ball and hit it up the way, which is not easy. Murphy's Lost Odds Lot, yeah, it pretty much is that. But sometimes I'm just like, really? Like, right as I say something, it's it just goes wrong, and I'm like, come on. I'm just trying to make a prediction here. <gasps> Scrub beaning the clear. Not the greatest defending by these guys all of a sudden. I really don't think Turbo thought this was going to be a goal. Scrub just getting a little bit too far ahead of himself. I never let people spectate, just occasionally. Do I, uh, well, I mean, some guy guessed the password earlier, so he got to spectate. So it's like a reward. If you can guess the password, sure, you can spectate. But there really is no point in spec. I, I'm literally spectating the games and commentating, so you can just watch me spectate. You can spectate the spectator, you know? You being a spectator yourself doesn't achieve anything. Scrub passing it to Turbo. Turbo passing it right back. These guys being very generous. I'm surprised Turbo didn't try and get under the ball and lift it in right there. He had a wide open net, but he went for the long shot. Couldn't quite get the angle that he needed. Overtime it is. Scrub rushing the clear, but he actually gets a decent angle in it. I want the rebound shot by Turbo. I like it. You can, you know, with the goal being so close to the wall in hoops, you can sometimes surprise people. Just bounce it off a wall and get it straight in. But again, that's something you see more in twos and threes. Oh, this could be game scrub with the backboard finish right in the middle of the square. Beautiful. Turbo. Not a good touch right there. And then getting beaten to the ball by scrub. 2-0 down. It's nobody likes to see. <laughs> it's nobody likes to see at all. But there you go. Scrub 2-0 up. And right after I called Turbo as a potential holding the game to zero. Uh, yeah, he gets beamed. So, know what I like to see. Alright, we got time for one more game probably. Let's see if Turbo can redeem himself. Scrub will have won the series regardless. But we'll, you know, we'll go for another game. So we've got some time. Where's the overlay? Oh, yeah. For all of the overlay lovers. Let me just get the overlay real quick. Oh. I don't even need to change the scrub 2 0 because that's actually the score. Just need to resize that. Mm. There we go. Beautiful. I'm incredible. I'm the best. What production value? I wonder if Turbo is going to stick with the same playstyle. He was pretty much just trying to force Scrub to overextend and defend against anything that Scrub threw his way, which is a playstyle that in normal 1v1 play will not work. Oh, Turbo's just going to let that one go in, I guess. I imagine he thought it was hitting the post, but that is not the case. <laughs> it's just going to bounce straight in, and Scrub gave it a little bit of help along the way, but that was actually just going in. No reason for Scrub not to go above the ball like he did because he he would have denied Turbo at least one angle of clearing the ball. Finally we see an air roll on faceoff. I've been waiting to see who would bring that out. And Turbo demo attempt will go awry. But like I was saying, the defensive playstyle that you can use on hoops doesn't work as well in the regular maps because they just get way too much space in the midfield. And they could just take a shot on the top of your goal or, you know, dribble you, but a bit harder to get a, sh a fast shot on hoops. And of course, it's still uh, arguably better to play aggressive, but we saw the defensive playstyle of Turbo. It was working for part of last game, and then uh, he definitely misplayed quite heavily to lose the game. It wasn't like he just got outplayed. There were a lot of unforced errors. That's not a bad attempt by Scrub, actually. The bump. Turbo is going to go for a finish, but Scrub bumps him. Scrub might be low on boost here. But he actually goes for a double jump pop. I'm not sure if that's what he was going. It looked like a throw would have been better with a diagonal front flip. And the dunk. This might roll right into the ceiling. Oh no, it's not. Actually a bit more to the right than I expected, but Scrub with the aerial finish. Turbo is going to struggle. It's bouncing all over the place. Turbo just waits for it to come back to him, which it does. <laughs> the mind games, but unfortunately open net's a lot harder to execute on in hoops and a big headbutt in the midfield resets the play 
failed pinch. A lot of things that are, are happening right now, I feel like these players are just testing them out and seeing what happens if I pinch the ball right here. Because uh, in a regular map, you know exactly what's going to happen if you go for a pinch. But in hoops, speaking of pinches, you know what, what actually happens if I pinch the ball in this direction? What? Where is it going to bounce? How is it going to interact with all these curved walls? Because these things, you only become familiar with them over time. And uh, you need to try them to find out. If only RLCS was hoops, maybe we'd see uh, only six foot seven Rocket League players. That is not a good idea. What? Are, pff, scrub. I don't know what Scrub is doing. That was a good play by Turbo to try and hit it straight down. But Scrub hitting, pinching the ball straight into his own uh, net. Just like I talked about earlier, if you launch the ball directly at the goal, like right in the middle of the goal, as you're looking at the curved part, or just right at the side of the goal, if you're coming sideways on, just hit it flat then you will actually hit, send it straight into the ceiling and then back down into your net. So that's pretty much what Scrub just did, he, except on his own goal. So I'm not sure if he is aware that that's what happens. Maybe he thought that pinching it off the front of the net would send the ball clear, but it actually just, uh, if you pinch it directly into the net, puts it right up into the ceiling. You can, of course, go for pinch clears if you hit the ball not dead onto your net, if you come at it more sideways. Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of the ball changing color. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Scrub giving himself a great pass. Do I give points on viewers' goals if they send a replay? Uh, what, you mean like I rate viewers' best goals? I don't know, I've never done that before. Like, I'm not sure. I'm thinking of uh, potential things for how to incorporate replay analysis into what I do, but also make it entertaining for people who are not the, the actual... Because obviously, if I do replay analysis, that's great for the one person who um, who gets the replay analyzed, but for everybody else, it might not be the most enjoyable experience. So I'm trying to come up with a way that it'll make it fun for everybody and uh, bear with me while I think of something. I'll know, when I've got a good idea, I'll know. I'll know. Like usually, uh, the stuff that I do, pfft, scrub, Face plant in the post. Usually, when I, you know, think of a good idea, I know it's going to be a, an interesting one for all, all the family. All right. So, right about this time last game, I called uh, just a comfortable walk away in the victory for the current vic leader, who was Turbo. And this time, Scrub's winning. So let's just go ahead and say, yeah, Scrub probably going to hold the win here. Looked pretty, he looked pretty comfortable all the game. Hasn't really looked threatened. In defense except when he pinched the ball into his, the ceiling above his own net and yeah that, that's about right about what I expected scrub just passing the ball right to turbo and turbo trying to read the, what the bounce is gonna look like but not enough familiar familiar the familiarity my goodness I mean that word not enough familiarity with the map Turbo with the air dribble and he's following it onto the left side of the ball really smart actually if scrub had gone for a save Turbo is blocking the angle. Oh, pff, <laughs> Scrub just drives her right into the post. <laughs> nice defense by Scrub. He just forgets that the rim exists. That's what I like to see. And Turbo with a chance to equalize, actually. He went for a bit of a mind game on faceoff. Oh, big chance. Scrub's low on boost. Turbo's going to play it slow, try and throw it in. Oh my goodness, Turbo beans it completely. Just straight beanage from Turbo. He heard Scrub jump, went up to meet him, but Scrub's bit it on the net and it's gonna bounce in. Scrub <laughs> headbutts the other post as well. You need a Binda emote? Yeah, I kinda do. I don't know what that would look like though. So I think Scrub actually headbutted another post. Yeah. <laughs> he almost saved it as well after headbutting the post. Looks like Scrub's gonna take all three games though. Turbo has to find two goals, probably face off goals. Which are harder to come by in hoops if the other uh, if the other player does know how to fast aerial. I guess I can't even speak right now. I've like been casting on stream for so long today. This is why most of my streams are usually just three hours or maybe four hours at most. A five hour stream is just like, help me, I'm going to die. <laughs> it's it's a hard life. There you go, GG's. Turbo gets taken down by Scrub, who is probably not as good as hoops as he told me he was, but you know a decent performance by him. Definitely let me know what you guys think about hoops. Uh, do you enjoy it? Do you, what do you think about it relative to um, regular games? 
What do you What do you guys think about the hoopsicles? Don't leave you. Well, do not fear. I will.